Hi, if you got an Android tablet or phone that you occasionally lend to your child, it is not uncommon that it after a little while looks like this, because the ads promoting your child to download new free games are massively aggressive to say the least. And since Android in this case is also massively dumb, there is actually no way to set a simple freaking password for the app downloads. Yes, you can fiddle with the family link function and create your child its own account, etc. But what human with kids have the brain space for that? So we can't lock the app installs in the actual Play Store. But what we can do, though, is that we can lock the whole Play Store app, as well as our browser app, if we want to do that to prevent a million web pages being left open after a kid's tablet session. Doing this is done a little bit different on different devices from different manufacturers. This here is a OnePlus tablet, but the way to find the setting we want is roughly similar on most devices, except though for Samsung that has chosen a somewhat different approach here with something called a secure folder where you password lock your apps away in a folder. I'll write out some extra instructions for Samsung devices as well as the exact paths to navigate to for the other most popular brands as well down in the video description. Okay, now all we have to do here is to open our settings app and in this case navigate to security and privacy. In here we scroll down and select app lock. Then we tick the little slider button up the top and set a super secret password that we want to use to lock our app with. If you want and depending on what your device supports you can also change the type of password by clicking here. If you for example want a letter combination password instead of a numeric one like we are going to use here. And then we have to make a I forgot my password question before finishing setting up the actual password. With that out of the way, we scroll down the list of apps until we reach Google Play Store and tick the box next to that. To also prevent our beloved little one from accessing any websites at all without permission, we can here also select to do the same thing with the Chrome browser if we want to. And that's actually that. The next time now your kid goes, oh, I need that app and I need it now, they will instead be met with a password screen. The only thing to do from here, other than entering the correct password, is to push the little X symbol up in the corner of the screen to close the app and then jump back into it if your child wants to do that. And the same thing goes for clicking one of those lovely websites website ad links like so. All right, hopefully this video helps you regain some of your sanity. If though you got any questions, like for example, where to find the app lock setting on a specific device, please share your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help with what I can. Thank you for watching. Bye.